Hey guys, I had to restart the video because of my camera. I, I, this desk is really tiny. Uh, you guys can't see it, but it's like, uh, you know, I move my leg in a certain way and the, everything, uh, the whole thing shakes. So, uh, I'm going to work on that and to getting a better space, uh, to do my tarot. So that that camera's not shaking all the time and stuff. Um, I was shuffling the cards and a bunch of cards fell out. Uh, the four of wands is here. Uh, the tower, the world strength and the wheel of fortune okay these are all pretty much major arcana cards um which is crazy uh it looks like some kind of tower is coming down in somebody's life some someone's situation uh a tower is uh happening in their life now this can be a good or bad thing uh depending on how you look at the circumstance and, and what the situation is um if, if it's um you know you've been waiting for something to fall to the ground for a while so you can start something new uh that that could be this or uh some catastrophe is literally literally happening in somebody's life right now okay but what it looks like is that it's the end of a cycle. That's why this tower is coming down because the time for uh, these people is over. Um, and now you, it, things are turning in your favor. You're actually leveling up in life. Um, you're doing, uh, you're, you're going with the plan. You're going with the life plan of God, the book of life. And, um, you know what I mean? Uh, you're ending these toxic karmic cycles. Uh, and you're starting a brand new beginning in your life, okay? There's going to be a lot of celebrations and, like, victories and stuff like that. You're going to get rewards and recognition. Um, you know what I mean? You're going to be surrounded by beautiful people all the time. And uh, the people who are on your level, you're going to you're gonna connect with people at a higher level because for a long time, you probably attracted the wrong people into your life because you probably had some bad habits. But now you got that under control and you're receiving your reward. You're receiving your recognition. You're receiving your due, uh, your, your, what you deserve. Okay. You had the inner strength to continue on this journey. You didn't stop. You tamed the beast within um, and you were able to uh, kind of master this, uh, inner beast that you had. Um, and it was very difficult and it was a painful process, but now that you're on the other side of it, it's like, you wouldn't want, you wouldn't have it any other way. That's the feeling I'm getting, but I feel like you have a true inner strength. I love this card. I like the style of, uh, you know, the blonde girl, you know, bending down and, and petting the, the ferocious lion. It's like, uh, very majestic. It's very, um, it's a beautiful energy. It's like a, um, you know, I don't know. It's just like somebody who's just meant to be here and do good and like be kind to animals and people in all situations. Okay. Not only do we have the world here, we have the wheel of fortune. This has been coming out in the readings a lot. It's the world and the wheel of fortune An end of a cycle and things turning in your favor. Some kind of great fortune inheritance or large lump sums of money are coming towards you. Um, also, this, uh, this is, uh, backing up that this is an end of a cycle. Um, you know what I mean? Something that was, uh, yeah, it was happening over and over again, a loop or it was something that was just built on a faulty foundation. It was, it was based on like lust and drugs and, uh, drug sex, and rock and roll, baby. You know what I mean? Like, uh, so that's, uh, uh I guess somebody wanted to say that, but, uh, yeah, it's a wheel of fortune, man. Your, your, your turn, like this, these are great cards and, uh, whoever this reading is for, uh, God bless you. Uh, looks like ace of cups. You know what I mean? You're, you're pulling all these fantastic cards. Okay. Like good things are coming to you. Infinite waters. You know, somebody's going to refill your cup. You're going to have emotional fulfillment. Um, you're, you're going to have a, you know, a uh, good family life. Um, just you're, you're going to have this period of just joy. Um, and, and you're, you're just going to, you're going to say to yourself like, wow, I can't stop smiling. That's how great it's going to be. Your face is going to hurt from how much you're smiling and being happy. And it's going to raise the vibration. It's going to raise your vibration. It's going to raise my vibration. We're going to go to a different level of existence. One where where we don't have to worry about people scheming up behind our back and, and always plotting and planning and doing all these things. You know what I mean? At some point, something's got to give. And you are just simply here living your life and doing what you love to do. So you shouldn't have any problems because you have the power within you. It's the spirit God put within you. You know what I mean? And that's powerful. That lives to eternity. People can do whatever they want to my body, um, but they can't kill my spirit. My spirit is eternal. You know what I mean? I was having a conversation with somebody about that earlier. You know what I mean? It's like we know as like spiritual people, like spiritualists, that like there is a spirit world. And um, 
You know what I mean? And I don't necessarily believe in an in, in a hell or heaven, but I do believe that we live heaven. Uh, you know, Jesus said the kingdom of heaven is within you. So it's like you're li you can live heaven or you can live hell. That's your choice. That's your choice. So it's like God gives us free will to do that. You know what I mean? Um, you could also have somebody here that wants to offer you a false cup. They want to come in and they want to, you know, try to shoot their shot at you and their cup's empty. So, you know what I mean? It's like, I don't know, guys. One, two, three, four. One. Let's do like an eight card spread. I'll pull like a couple more cards. What else spirit is up with this situation? Okay, uh, it's something to do with a high priestess. Okay, somebody who's very intuitive. They're, um, you know, what I mean, loving, caring. Uh, I, I'm, I'm feeling kind of like this loving, caring energy. So, like, I feel the good vibes off this person. Um, they may be a tarot reader, or they're just somebody who knows things. They, they are behind the veil. Um, they're able to explain things of God and such. And uh, they're, they're very. Um, you know, depending on what what kind of person this is, it could be a darker person or a lighter person or it could be in between. You know what I mean? This person could practice like some maybe like darker uh, stuff. But um, for the most part, this person is for, you know, is for love and like they want to see people succeed and shit. Um, the devil. OK, so we have the high priestess and the devil here. Some kind of toxic behavior, toxic pattern. Um, somebody somebody stuck in fear. I hear. Okay. So somebody is stuck in fear. Um, maybe because you're in this position of like being a high priestess, this person might be even intimidated by you. Um, for some reason, um, somebody's being uh, trapped in fear, trapped in their past. Okay. With the devil, the sun that you're, you're living your life. You're, um, you're, gonna be with your divine partner or soulmate you're you're gonna have so many happy days and so many happy moments uh it's gonna be beautiful um you're gonna have a, a great family life uh is coming in for you you're gonna have child uh it's gonna be a very beautiful time okay you may feel like you have some burdens because you're gonna be carrying a lot with this uh you might have a lot of responsibilities and stuff but the universe uh didn't give you anything you couldn't handle so, um, you know what I mean? Just stick it out and just, uh, adjust to the responsibilities that you have and just keep moving forward. And you're going to have everything that, you know, you desire in life. Um, you know, so, so somebody, uh, this is a hardworking person. Uh, this is somebody who works, uh, you know, diligently. Um, they may be more on the conservative side, uh, of things like they believe in family values. Uh, they're just like a, a loyal, uh, a loyal person, um, somebody who's hardworking, he moves kind of slower, uh, but he gets the job done. Right. Okay. Uh, you could be like a Harold font figure, like, uh, you know, in a position of some authority or power, either in the spirit world or in the living world. Okay. So you could be a pastor or priest, a preach <laughs> preacher, or you could uh, you could just be a spiritual person. You, you believe in spiritual principles. You take the moral high road. Um, so you could be teaching people also at this time, like you see the guy sitting, the old guy sitting in the chair and he's like talking to the children. Um, like you could be, you know, teaching people like that from your experience. Okay. Uh, 10 of pentacles, you're moving into a 10 of pentacles life. Uh, you know, somebody's going, this is going to be like everything, like you're gonna have generational wealth. This is good investments paying off. Um, two people coming together, as you can see in the card, there could even be like a tarot reader guiding you guys together. Okay, uh, eight of swords. Somebody feels uh, trapped, but it's like a self-induced uh, trap. Like they could get out of it if they wanted to, if they just took the blindfold off. But um, I don't know. If someone's feeling stuck. You know what I mean? I see their her, her arms are tied. Oh no, they're not. Yeah, like she could take the blindfold off if she wanted to, but she she decides to stay stuck in an illusion because that's what's comfortable for her and that's what she's always done. So. You know what I mean? You're moving into this uh, amazing marriage or relationship or whatever this is. And somebody else is feeling very stuck and isolated. Um, you know, don't know what to do with their life. Um, uh, wow. Okay. Um, this is a lot, guys. Like, something is falling, okay? The tower is falling. It's coming down. Like, and all this change is coming in. The world. 
the Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Cups, the Sun, like, hold all these major arcanas, the Wheel of Fortune, like, this is a serious deal, Ace of Cups, the Sun, like, the order those cards came out in is like, wow, um, wow, wow, <laughs> What else, Spirit? You want them to know. Final outcome? This reading is different tonight. Something's different. I don't know what it is. Guys, I, I don't know. I got this feeling and I feel so good. <laughs> oh, my God. You guys probably think I'm, a, um, I'm crazy or something. I just, I don't know. I love you guys. Whoever's watching, thank you for supporting the Infinite Limits channel. Um, we're about expansion and growth here. We want to become our best selves. Um, this is a very, I want people to feel motivated and inspired about their life and the situations that are coming in. Maybe even warn people about certain situations that could arise so they can avoid them and they can turn, they can go into the light and they can, um, they can become their best selves. Um, cause people deserve that. They deserve a chance to, um, live their best life, to do things that they never did before, uh, to live, to be free. To not have to feel hold, held back by anyone or anything. That's what we're about here. So, um, I'm like flipping my hair like an emo kid. Like, you know what I mean? I don't know. I need to do something with my hair, you know? I gotta do something with my hair. I gotta do something, you know what I mean? That shit. It long. Look at it. <laughs> i love you guys uh thank you guys for your, all your comments just supporting the channel i i just wanted to say I, the f word but i love i love you guys and i love this channel and i love what i'm doing and i like doing tarot and it's fun and i don't have any music in the background right now but um they keep copyright striking me for uh playing music in the background so I guess I'm just not going to use music until I find something that actually sounds good that I want to play in the background. Uh, but I don't know. Let me know in the comments below, guys, uh, if you like music uh, playing in the background or not. The lovers came out. Okay, so this is in regards to a love relationship. You're you're probably getting into a relationship with like you, it, it could be like a twin flame or like a divine counterpart or soulmate or some or a past uh, past life soulmate, somebody you knew in another life. Um, it's a very special and divine connection that's coming in, okay? It's connected to this new cycle, okay? It's connected to this tower falling down and then uh, this new energy coming in uh, to give you a brand new life, to get, to breathe life into you again so you can live again, you can be free again, you can uh, laugh again and you can be happy and you, can, um, you don't have to uh, feel so trapped and bound down, uh, you know, by an illusion, okay? So uh, you're going to have love in your life. That's what the angels are saying. You know, you even look at the lover's card. There's an angel right there. Um, you know, it's a very beautiful card. I really like this one. Um, yeah, so good things are coming. Uh, it's a result of some kind of cycle ending in somebody's life in a brand new beginning. Uh, the wheel is turning in your favor. You used to be at the bottom of the wheel because you were maybe you had some nasty habits or something you were dealing with behind the scenes. Now you're on the top wheel because your car, your good karma is catching up to you now. All the good that you've sown into the ground is now being reaped. And now you're just taking off. You're taking off because you were just waiting for those plants to grow. Now that they've grown and you've taken your uh, your wheat, you've taken you've taken the splendor. Now you're you're on your way. You're running. You're outy. You're like outy. Fall back. Fall back, yo. And it's like you're out. You're like you're getting your. This is like. Um, you know what I mean? It literally is like the the um the Ace of Pentacles or whatever. Those cards with the hand of God coming down. This is literally a situation where the hand of God is coming down on your life. And you're literally going to be blessed in front of everybody. And uh, it's going to be pretty cool. Uh, we have the Page of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So somebody could be watching you. Um, they could want to offer you their pentacle. They kinda, they, they're kind of watching you. They have their eye on you. Um, Okay, let's get some better uh, clarification on the issue. Let's get some clarification on the issue, all right? Let's see what's up. Uh, it could be something up with a family member, okay? 
What about a family member? Something about Akashic Records. It's like the storehouse for all life. It's like the blueprint. Is it some kind of blueprint of your life. Okay. Something to do with a family member. Somebody says you're legendary. Okay. You're like legendary. Better at spending money than making it. Somebody's better at spending money than making it. Okay. Somebody doesn't work. They're lazy. All right. A family member. Um, somebody uh, is lazy, and uh, but yet they have the energy to, to hex and curse you, okay? When their house ain't even clean, all right? You need to clean your house. It's dirty as hell, okay? Something to do with an oversoul. You're, you, you, there's something about an oversoul here or some kind of uh, oversoul uh, energy watching over you, okay? Uh, somebody here is Hispanic, all right? Is a tyrant. Whoever this Hispanic person is, uh, could be connected to these hexes and curses. Something to do with a family member in the Akashic Records, okay? There could be some kind of tampering going on. So, you know, be aware of that, I guess. Um, okay, somebody's pro-choice, all right? You could need to do some kind of like a spiritual bath or cleansers or like a ritual, a cleansing ritual. You know what I mean? To, uh, to, it might help you. Um, somebody's a backstabber. Okay. So beware, uh, or, you know, not beware, but be alert. You know what I mean? That's all you have to do is just be alert. People will make their intentions known to you the first time you meet them. Okay. And, uh, it, they do that to, it's like a power thing. So, um, be, just pay attention when you first meet people, they'll tell you your, their intention and then you're outie if it's not something that you want, uh, psychic abilities, somebody has psychic abilities. All right. It could be, you could be displaying these, uh, abilities to other people. Um, yeah, <laughs> uh, you know, psychic ability, you're, you're a very gifted person. Okay. Uh, you, you come from some kind of royalty, uh, in your blood. Uh, something about the number seven. Uh, this is the year seven, 2023. Two plus zero plus two plus three is seven. Okay. So uh, 2023 is year seven. All right. Uh, stay strong. Move forward. Divine luck. Moving through obstacles. You're moving through these obstacles that these people set up for you. Uh, they're not very happy about that. Okay. Interdimensional. You could be jumping timelines. You could be very interdimensional. Um, you know, you believe in higher dimensions. You believe you can get to a higher place in your life than where you're at already. And uh, there's nothing wrong with that. I thought another card fell down over here, but let's get it. Yeah, these people, you know, the, the audacity, you know what I mean? To just be like, your house ain't even clean. The kids are running amok. Uh, it's dirty as hell, but it, you have no energy. You're so tired, yet you have the energy to, like, conjure up a curse or a hex against somebody. It's just kind of sad to me, you know what I mean? I keep my shit clean, you know? Someone's got daddy issues. Daddy, I'm not your daddy, so don't treat me like your daddy, okay? Maybe I kind of remind you of your daddy and I look like your daddy, but I ain't your daddy. So <laughs> doing some trauma bonding shit type shit. I hope you guys don't mind that I curse. You know, I, I, I do my best to just, you know, be a gentleman and speak politely, but I kind of got a, I kind of got a mouth on me guys. I don't know if you've noticed, but, uh, you know, that's just me, you know, um, I don't like to curse all the time, but some, you know, sometimes it just feels good to get it out. You know, someone could be a chef or a cook. Uh, you could need a financial advisor. Uh, somebody was trying to do confusion spells. They backfired because uh, somebody got control issues. This was a false twin flame in the winter. Something about somebody you met in the winter, a false twin flame and an Aquarius. Lone wolf and the solar plexus chakra. Somebody, uh... Something about the springtime. Okay, so something about the winter and the spring. Uh, something happened to this lone wolf person type person. 
you can just really do things on your own. You don't really like need other people around, but you like to have people around. It's like, it's weird. You're like a Sigma male. You're not like an alpha or a beta, but you're kind of like in between. Uh, someone's petite. Okay. Oh, man. Okay, here. I'm going to get the love deck out and see what the love deck says because this is like some kind of love situation here. Yeah, these are really good cards, guys. Like, I, I feel like really good things are coming to the collective. You know, I really do. It's like... I just keep hearing you got them right where you want them. You got them right where you want them. That's what the ancestors are saying or somebody's telling me. It's crazy. I feel like you hate me. Somebody feels like you hate them. Okay. Uh, somebody you had past relations with maybe. Okay. Let's see. What else? Okay. Uh, addicted to your love. Somebody is addicted to your love. All right. <laughs> Addicted to your love, addicted to your love. It's been so long that I've just accepted being alone. Somebody's been alone for so long, they just accepted it. You know what I mean? And, and I kind of feel like kind of like a sadness coming off this card. It's kind of like, damn, like I would like to be with somebody, but it's just like, it just seems like um, it's too difficult right now. Or uh, you can't, you, you're feeling like you can't meet up to the challenge or something. But you can, you can do anything uh, with your life. And like, I believe like, you know, people have an interest in something, they try it, they find out if they like it or not. And then they either keep doing it or they don't do it. And then you move on to the next thing and you try to learn something new over there. And it's just like, that's what life's about. You can, there's so much to know and experience and to learn, you know, life is good when it's good. I, and uh, sometimes it's just, it's worth getting through the bad, you know, I want to get naughty with you. Uh, I want to get naughty with you. I'm moving on. Oh, someone's like, uh, uh, I'm moving. I'm going to get naughty with this other person. Oh, shit. What? I want to bring peace, balance, and harmony to your life rather than only taking from you. Okay, that's pretty deep. Um, so this person wants to bring, you know, equal give and take to you. Uh, they don't want to bring chaos into your world anymore. You speak to me through music, signs, and synchronicities. So uh, you guys uh, have a telepathic communication with someone. Uh, they're getting uh, confirmations from the universe about you. Um, so this is a new love relationship. This is awesome, guys. Um, for those of you that that's happening for um, or whoever resonates with it. Uh, you had a runner chaser dynamic with somebody. Maybe you got sick of it and uh, you moved on here. Okay. Uh, yeah. Somebody's like, it's over. It, it is over, over like. It's like triple overtime over, like stop, like it's done. Like the, the love is gone. Okay. Visit you in your dreams. Someone is visiting you in your dreams. Okay. So you could be connecting someone in the 5d or the dream world. Okay. I would fly you to the moon and back. If you'll be, if you'll be my baby. That's a quote from Savage Garden, the band. Okay. I would fly you to the moon and back. If you'll be my baby. Okay. That's sweet. That's very cool. All right. I forgot I made that card. All right. Patience is wearing thin. Patience is needed, but I feel like I can't wait any longer. This person is like aching to be with you. All right. These people like, again, the panties in a bunch and shit. They want to be with you so bad. Like, uh, you know, I often wonder if I'll ever see you again. The thought of never seeing you again brings a tear to my eye. It's sad, you know, it's sad when people come apart, but you know what? We have to learn the lessons we learn and then we have to move on. We have to have the strength to take that pain and turn it into power, to be emotion, you know, alchemist, turning lead into gold. You know what I mean? It's, I did sex magic on your connection. Somebody tried to fucking do sex magic on your connection. It's terrible. You know what I mean? It's just like, it never ended. It was always some dark shit, right? Some dark secret. I'm under judgment for what I did to you. This person's suffering, you know, uh, because of what they did to you. They're, they're eating up their karma now and, uh, it doesn't taste too good in their mouth. All right. 
Uh, I'm not used to being emotional. I have control issues. Okay, so this person wanted to control you. They wanted to dominate you. They wanted to have power over you, plain and simple. And you didn't give it to them. I... I like to dance, guys. I like to sing. I'm, you know, I'm a loving person. I love getting on cam and talking with you guys. Um, I feel great. I feel amazing. Um, you know, I, I have been like working out and stuff. I'm going to be, you know, going back to the gym soon and like working and like helping, you know, I'm, I have a job helping older people in the hospitals. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do my tarot thing. Uh, you know, I'm going to do other stuff. And like, I'm so excited for this channel, guys. I'm so excited to be on here talking to you guys. Um, and that uh, people are supporting it and joining on. And I can't thank you guys enough for your support, whether that be whatever, you know? So I love each and every one of you guys. Um, we're just going to do some, I guess, some angel cards quick. I'll pull a couple of these and then uh, a prayer and then I'll, I'll be out. I'm going out. I'm going home. I'm going solo. I'm going solo, solo. You know? So I'm hearing guys, I'm, I'm just, man, be patient all as well. So just be patient in the situation. Um, your, your higher power is dealing with the issue. Your high power is dealing with the issue. All right. Your angels will only give you the challenges that you're capable of handling. And I spoke about this earlier in the reading. Um, you know, God's never going to give you more than you can handle. You're going to have burdens and shit, but it's like, you're just going to, you're just going to glide right through it. That's what I'm hearing. Like, you're just, you're going to be amazing. You're going to, you're going to beat this thing. You're going to have a great accomplishments. People are going to celebrate you. There's, I, I see like popping champagne up in the sky. We're going first class. This is the life. Like, yeah, that's what it is. Glamorous, glamorous, baby. You're about to live a very glamorous lifestyle. You could even be a model, somebody in the uh, public eye. But if you keep going the direction you're going, working on that mind, you know what I mean? Working on those, um, those built in fears in your mind and breaking those, breaking those things, you're going to become more and more and more and better and better. And, uh, I'm so happy and proud for you. Whoever this reading is for, this is beautiful. Family is everything. Always make sure to acknowledge this. Okay. Like, you know, times when you're upset with your family or you're disappointed or whatever you're going through, know that your family is a blessing from God. Okay. It is, it is holy. Uh, what you think is what you create. Okay. This is so important. Like the more you think about something, especially like negative shit, that's what you're going to bring into your life. People who think like you. And uh, so if you want a different life, you have to change. You have to live a different life. You have to be a different life. You can't just like wake up one day and be like, oh, I'm going to be this person. Like it takes time to effort and dedication to like become the people we are uh, and actually be genuine. You know, um, when a feather floats down from above, an angel is showering you with love. Okay. So angels are watching over you, over your life, over your life plan, over your Akashic records, over everything. So know that like there's always there's always a guardian at the gate when it comes to you, like especially in your inner world. It's like there's always somebody standing outside of that and, and you have to get permission to go through. And like I'm very heavily protected by the divine. Um, The beauty you seek will resonate in nature. You probably love nature. You probably in nature a lot. You know what I mean? Like you probably just really connect with the animals and the birds and those squirrels and you're just, you love life. Okay. You're, you're, that's what energizes you is being out in the woods. Okay. Your animals and spirit are showering you with their love. You have spirit. If you have animals that, um, passed on, they, they're with you. Like animals, energy stays with you. Okay. Your children are the greatest gift of all. They teach you more than you teach them. Okay. So your children are, you know, like, just like with the family card we just got, like, it's going to be, it's going to be overwhelming, but it's going to be beautiful. And you're going to be able to, to, to take it on. You're going to be able to take it on. You're going to take the responsibility and you're going to love. You're going to be happy. Okay. This is a prayer for transforming failure, okay? I'm praying for myself and anybody who may be watching at this time. Uh, dear God, there are times when love's call 
seems entirely in vain, when all I can see around me is my failure. I have not succeeded in the area of my heart's desire. I do not seem to have the magic ingredient that enables some people to move forward in ways I cannot. What is wrong with me? Am I without blessing? Dear God, please help me. Restore me to my faith in who I am. Give me aid. Give me hope. I give myself to you. Amen. Okay. So that is a prayer for transforming failure. If you ever felt like you have like a special ability and gift inside you and you haven't been able to properly express that, this is a great prayer to pray uh, for that. And, uh, you know, understanding that maybe you haven't been using your full potential and like you could be partly guilty for that because you chose to, you know, live your life in a certain type of way. But there's nothing wrong with that. Um I'll do one more, okay? This is a prayer for new beginnings. Uh, dear God, I feel that I have wasted my life, thrown thrown away my resources, taken too much time to gather my strengths. Now, dear God, I feel it is too late for me. My age, my weakness, the lies, and the betrayals of time gone by all make me seem a lesser talent. And only you, dear God, know the love in my heart and how much I want to serve, how much I have to give. I need a miracle, a new beginning, which only you can give me. Dear God, I give you my life. Please bring together my talents. Please increase my gifts and use them for your purposes. I surrender my future. Make it unlike my past. Thank you very much. Amen. All right. That was a prayer. For, <laughs> a prayer. <laughs> a train. Uh, that was a prayer for new beginnings. Okay. Those are a couple of prayers. Uh, that, this, is, um, this book's called Illuminata. Okay. It's by Marianne Williamson, and it's a prayer book. My friend gave it to me. And it got me through a really hard time in my life. Oh, wish fulfillment was on the bottom. Before I... So, you know, you're getting wish fulfillment right now with your uh, divine union. Okay, it's coming together. Any kind of manipulation or spell work won't work. It's going to all backfire on them terribly if they try to stop this union. Yeah, somebody might be doing too much. This petite person doing too much? I don't know. I just see it in the cards. So I just call it how I see it. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Uh, okay, so that was your reading for uh, January. What is the date? The 23rd? Okay, January 23rd. Uh, yeah, this video is a little different. This was a little different energy that I'm picking up uh, tonight. So um, we'll see about these other videos. Uh, but this one is done for now. And I just really appreciate all you guys. If you got to the end of this video, thank you so much. Uh, the donation links will be down below. Uh, donations are greatly appreciated at this time. And uh, if you want a personal reading, reach out to your mans. Uh, email me uh, at the email down in the description box below. Um, yeah, may God bless you, sir, uh, help you in your purposes and your life path and that he guides you through just like he guided me through. I pray that upon you, the light, let the light cleanse and clear anything off you that you may have that you don't want anymore. Thank you. And, uh, you know, I wish well to each and every one of you. I send you love. I send you light. I send you peace. I send you joy. Thank you.